Hi guys, and welcome to Bobsy Bounce. It's Bobsy here with another video for you guys, another watch video. So we did a watch video a couple of months ago on a Rolex Submariner uh, 114060. If you want to check that video out, you can uh, click on the tag up here and you can check that one out. So following that video, we want to see how well that video is going to do. We did pretty well. So we decided that we're going to do a follow up with the Tag Hoyer review. So why have I got these Red Bulls over here? No, we have not been sponsored or endorsed by Red Bull. Hopefully one day. Uh, but anyway, uh, the reason for this, uh, these two cans over here is because the tag in here is a special edition. So Tag Heuer, they collaborated with the Aston Martin Red Bull Formula One racing team. First things first, let's have a taste of Red Bull. So we've got a choice. Let's go with the sugar-free one. Let's taste this. Anyway guys, a bit of um, a background on this watch. So this watch belongs to my brother. Uh, this watch was gifted to him by his wife for his 40th birthday. Uh, the retail on this watch, well, you know, we'll go into all of that. Let's have a look at the watch. Let's do the unboxing and let's see what the whole fuss is about, about the tags. So guys, unboxing the Tag Heuer chronograph. So it's called the Quartz Chronograph Reference CAZ101AB.BA08424. As you guys can see, it is in an outer box. Uh, lovely, very good, you know, solid material. Obviously, when you're buying a tag, you know, you are going to get very good quality. Uh, then the inner box is uh, like a textured kind of a rubber kind of a box. So um, you can tell, you know, they have actually spent time in doing, presenting this. So let's just uh, have a look at the inside, inside the box. So you've got the uh, you've got the instruction booklet and you've got the guarantee card in there as well so just mentioned that it's the chrono uh, quartz chronograph so obviously there's not an automatic movement this uh, takes batteries and it's got the warranty card or guarantee card in the back as well i'm not going to be showing you the reference or the serial number rather because of you know as you know before as i mentioned that people can do copies or whatever we'll have a look at that in a second but you also get another kind of a card in there as well which just says that it's a special edition for the Aston Martin racing team so obviously they've collaborated together and they've decided to make this lovely watch special edition as well so it gives you the history of the Aston Martin team as well and uh, all of their achievements and everything tells you about it and uh, then you've got the the booklet as I mentioned as well so in the booklet you get the it tells you how to set the time how to use the chronograph I think the chronograph is a feature for this watch because Obviously, it's made, you know, in um, collaboration with the Formula One team. So, you know, you can, you know, use a chronograph to, uh, for the lap times and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know if people are still using them nowadays, but you've got that feature over there. Now, let's have a, a look. So, we'll open up the box and uh, it should be there. So, let's have a look at what you get inside. And there you have it, guys. So, it's beautifully presented, as you guys can see. It uh, obviously comes, comes with a little badge over here stating that it's from the Aston Martin Red Bull Racing Team. Tag are very good at presenting their watches. And as you guys can see, it just looks really, really nice. So what can we say about this watch, guys? So this is the, as I mentioned, Tag Heuer Formula One Aston Martin Red Bull Racing Special Edition 2020 model. There's quite a lot of interest with this watch already because it's affiliated and associated with the Formula One team. Uh, so it has a 200 meters water resistance the strap is made of stainless steel it's a men's watch and as i mentioned before again it's a quartz movement meaning that it takes batteries it's not a manual wind or an automatic watch the dial beautiful colors on the dial we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, in a second about the blue dial and how that actually is um, related to the racing car we'll talk about that in a, sec uh, in a sec uh the case material is made of stainless steel and the diameter of the watch is 43 millimeters and the brand collection so this watch is obviously part of a collection it's part of the formula one collection so a bit more about the actual dial itself which is very striking and it also has the luminous on there is also it obviously glows in the dark as well so the actual dial the reason why it's actually blue is because aston martin race team in um last year so 2020 19th of feb to be precise in barcelona they introduced a new car which had uh, the same blue color so they then used this same blue color from the car on the dial and uh, it just goes very nicely together and uh, looking and also it's got the uh, the date in the date window as well i mean 
if you do really think about it guys it is actually a quite a complicated watch because it's actually a chronograph which i'm going to show you uh, how the chronograph works and everything in just a moment so at the back of the watch it's not anything extravagant you know you don't get like your exhibition case or you're not able to see the movement or anything like that whatsoever uh, it's just there it's like a steel back but it does have a couple of really interesting engravings which says obviously aston martin red bull racing edition a folding clasp with a push button on there as well so you guys can see it's got the folding clasp and it says tag hoya on there as well so quite secure once it's on there i don't think that's going to be going anywhere i'll just have a quick uh, wrist check as well actually while, while we're at it now bearing in mind that my wrist i have like a six and a quarter inch wrist so i have quite a small wrist i think it looks very nice i mean i don't really care about wearing watches that are too big for my wrist i'll be perfectly honest so that's how it looks on my wrist over there so for everybody who wants to know how the actual chronograph works, it's very straightforward. For the chronograph, you just press it once. And I must say, guys, it's a very sturdy uh, kind of a pusher, to be honest. So it works, as you can see, it's going round and round. And then you can just stop it. Press the same one again. And then you press the reset button. And it goes all the way around, just to show you that it's been reset. So just once again, I'll just show you very quickly. So it's quite a striking movement and then stop and reset back there it goes so more about this watch guys this watch was bought as a gift for my brother for my sister-in-law and uh, she paid in the region of about 1400 pounds for this watch what's the value of the watch right now you know what i'm actually quite surprised this watch is actually the same price if you were to buy this watch brand new it's still going to cost you in the region of about 1400 pounds in fact some places have seen it for slightly more um if you get one that's going to be used which is quite difficult to get hold of at the moment because it's quite a relatively new watch um these watches are still fetching around that kind of figure so to say that it's a tag and people say that um tags don't really keep their or hold the value uh, this watch is i think a bit of an exception maybe in the future it might drop in value a little bit but right now because it's quite a new watch it, uh, it's actually held its value very well that's it for today guys hopefully you guys enjoyed that video uh, it's quite a short video just to show you guys what this watch is like as uh, i know a lot of you guys have requested for the review on this watch so i just wanted to show you the unboxing experience and what it's like to open up a tag uh let's see what's on my wrist so on my wrist guys we have seco 5 so this is a vintage watch it's a 1977 uh seco 5 uh, it's a 34 millimeter obviously with my wrist being so small it's perfect for me it hasn't got the original uh, strap has uh, been changed to an aftermarket leather strap but i absolutely love this watch guys i've got a couple of these uh, vintage seacos and if you guys want me to do a review on these vintage vintage seaco watches that i've got please leave it in the comments below and uh, if you guys have enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe uh, hopefully we've got many more watches and cars and other things that reviewing in the future as well thank you so much for watching guys this is bobsy bounce signing out <laughs>